Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and this is going to be my top five recommendations for the month of December. Now, this one's going to be done a little bit differently, and you will find out why probably in January, late January or February, or even March at this point. Um, I'm still going to do my two honorable mentions and my five picks that I recommend for everyone but they're not going to be in any type of order, and that's there's a reason why. I just can't say what it is yet. <laughs> you, you guys will probably figure it out, I'm sure. Uh, first honorable mention, and this does not mean that it was less than, is The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Really good movie. Um, an interesting way to tell a Dracula story. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say much about these movies. You'll find out more about them in due time. <laughs> Alright. Second honorable mention. The Pope's Exorcist. Wow. <laughs> this movie's a lot of fun. Um, I'm not going to say anything more than that. Yeah. It's just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. Wasn't sure what I was getting into, but I was very pleasantly surprised. All right. Now I'm going to talk about my other real quick. And the reason why this is an other is because it's been getting a little bit of traction lately. And that is Existence. Now, I've always liked David Cronenberg. Um, some of his movies can be a little hit or miss sometimes, but I'm pretty much down with most of what he does. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this now is because I think because Vinegar Syndrome released it, my friend Joe the Horror Man actually watched it and he loved it. And I was like, you know, I know I have that movie. I just can't remember where it is. <laughs> so I found it and we watched it and it's fantastic. The reason why it's my other is because I have seen it before and that's my rule. It may change next year. Who knows? But I only do first time watches. But I remembered very little of this film. I will say, this movie is damn good. So, yeah. Existence. Fantastic. All right. Now, the next five are in no particular order. We have Rampage. Now, this has been sitting in my collection for God knows how long. I bought it on Black Friday many years ago when it first came out, and it just sat there. Never watched it. I remember my friend Dave Maggot saying that he really enjoyed it, so I picked it up and turned it on, and I was so impressed with it. It just blew me away. Really good movie. Fun, fun movie. Pays a lot of homage to the video game, which I used to love. All right, next is Five Nights... At Freddy's. Uh, this movie is a lot of fun. I wasn't sure what to expect. I did get this for a certain reason with one of my gift cards that I got for Christmas. And I was so impressed with this movie. I've never played the game, so I have nothing to judge it by. But my God, it's uh, it was a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. And I had a blast with it. All right. Next is A Haunting in Venice. This is a horror movie, make no mistake. It is a murder mystery, but it's also a horror movie. And uh, it's fantastic. The settings are drop-dead gorgeous, and it's just really cool. Not going to say anything more, <laughs> but I loved it. Yeah. Next is... Pet Cemetery, Bloodlines. Wasn't sure what to expect from this, but I heard it through a reliable source that this was a very good movie. And by that reliable source, I mean the horror man. So I got it with some of my Christmas money on gift cards, and this is how you do a prequel, guys. Plain and simple. Great movie. And last but not least... The much-hated 
the exorcist believer. I'm not going to say anything more. All right, so recapping. I know this is a little bit shorter than normal. The exorcist believer. Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. Haunting in Venice. Five Nights at Freddy's. Rampage. Starting the rock. The Pope's Exorcist. The Last Voyage of the Demeter. And my other is Existence. Looking forward to 2024. Hope it's a better year than 2023. But I'm always hoping it's a better year. Not that anything big and bad happened. Well, a lot of things have, but just hoping for a better year in 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. Peace.